my name's James Price. Uh, I'm a farmer here at Perdiswell Farm uh, in, in Woodstock in Oxfordshire uh, and we grow wheat. All of our wheat goes to be made into bread. It's a particular variety and uh, quality that's, that's grown specifically for, for, for bread. I've lived here all my life. When you grow up on a farm, you know, I always used to work with Dad and sit on the tractors with Dad and always be alongside him. And so, you know, it's, it's in your blood and, and you know, you, you grow to love it. For me, farming is a, a fantastic um, career and a fantastic business to be involved in because you, you get to see the, the fruits of your labour. You, everything we do, we're, we're producing something, we're producing food. Um, so we watch it go from, from the seed in the bag to the, to the grain in the, in the combine harvester. To grow the perfect wheat crop, particularly for bread making, takes quite a lot of effort, quite a lot of time and um, dare I say it, skill I suppose. It, certain times of the year it's the same as any other crop, um, but it's particularly when you get into the, into the later into spring and, and at harvest you have to really make sure you're, you're, you're on the ball to make it, to make it of that quality. Harvest is, uh, is, is, is very stressful. It's our most stressful time of year. Imagine doing your entire year's work um, but not actually being able to sort of finish it off until four weeks in August. And that four weeks is absolutely critical. We can't harvest if it's raining. Uh, we can't harvest if it's not ready. Uh, there's so many, so many variables in there. We're all reliant on one piece of machinery to do all that work. So it's, it's our most stressful time of year. Uh, and you know, you, I love it. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the, what I've worked all year to do. So to, so to see it going from growing in the field to, to in the store is absolutely fantastic. But there's, a, there's an awful lot of stress that goes with it as well. What the combine does when it, when, it, uh, when it goes into the field is it will, it will cut the wheat at about this sort of length so you end up with, with an element of straw in there and you've got the ear of grain here. Um, this is slightly unusual, it's a new variety of wheat so it's actually got awns on it which are these, these long spiky bits here. Um, then you've got the husk, husk of the grain and then inside here you've actually got the, the grains of wheat that we then, uh, we then take back to the farm. So I'm, I'm proud to be a, to be a red, red tractor farmer because I, I know that it gives the consumer confidence that what they're buying is is produced in in Britain, and it and it's to a quality that is is you know so high um, that it's it's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So for me to be, it makes me proud to think that what I'm producing, um, I have every confidence, and it goes right the way through the supply chain to the end consumer. So why why should you choose a red tractor loaf of bread over a non-red tractor loaf of bread? Uh, if we, if we get away from the fact that you're supporting British farmers and, and, and making the most of, of the British countryside and keeping it, keeping it surviving and going, um, it's, the, it's the quality. So it's the quality and the traceability. So you know that everything that's gone into that loaf of bread is 100% traceable, 100% the best quality you could possibly get for, for that loaf of bread.